What's up guys, Lojo Fishing back at it again today. West Alabama, Demopolis, Black Warrior River, Lake Demopolis, million bodies of water around here. This is a bank fisherman's paradise, but sometimes us as bank anglers run into some problems like how deep is the water? What's the water temperature? Are there any fish out there? Is there any structure underneath the water? Is there vegetation? And really, I mean, there's just no way to know. I mean, you can drag a bait on the bottom. You can try to see if there's vegetation. You can guesstimate how deep the water is, but you never know if there's fish down there unless you catch them. Which leads me to the video I'm making today. I want to talk to you guys about this weird little round ball. <laughs> it's called a Deeper Pro Plus, all right? Some of you guys have maybe heard of Deeper, the sonar. Um, it's very versatile. But today I want to show you how you as a bank angler can utilize it to find those tricky summertime bass. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm all hooked up here. Got my line attached to it. Going to toss it out here. I don't really know what to expect here. Whee! <laughs> Sounds like a brick hitting the water. All right, so I got my deeper casted out. Going to pull out the handy dandy app. All right, so this is what your screen's going to look like. I hope you guys can see that okay. But uh, it shows me the depth, 6.3 feet. It's got my little fish icon. Looks like there was a fish that swam by. So this is really interesting because, you know, you wouldn't know that this water out here was that shallow. You know, you look at a, a little point like I'm standing on, and you think maybe there's a kind of a, a slope down into some deeper water, but there's really not. All right. I'm going to keep walking around. I'm going to try to find some deeper water with, with some more obvious fish hanging out and see if we can catch a fish using this cool deeper technology. All right, let's see if we can find some deeper water around here. You got to figure on these hot summer days, the bass are going to be relating a little bit deeper, deeper in the water column, maybe some deep structure. And this is a great way to find it. Normally, you know, it, it's you just kind of have to guess where you think the water is deeper. And uh, God, that thing flies. Let's see if we've got some deeper water out here. Here we go. We've got some deeper water. We're looking at 15, 16 feet of water. We've already got one little fish indicator right there, suspended at 10 feet. Gonna reel the deeper in. Look, there's a look. There's a bunch of little fish down there. Maybe feeding on some bait fish. That is so cool, guys. So those are a little bit closer to the bottom. There's another fish. Bunch of fish right there. Look at that, guys. How cool is that? So according to this thing, I mean, there's just fish all out there. Look, suspended, lower. So I'm going to see if I can catch one of these bad boys. We got some fish deep and some suspended. I'm going to try to catch the ones that are suspended first. The water is real dirty, so I'm just going to throw this little white spinner bait out here. I am going to let it sink a little bit though. Maybe I can get on some of those fish that are a little bit deeper. Welcome to the south where there are floating piles of debris. If you guys can tell that that pile of grass right there is actually floating. It's not connected to anything. <laughs> just kind of slowly floating. I thought I just felt a little half bite again. You know, the only problem with sonar is that it can't tell you what kind of fish it is. Maybe one day in our lifetime, we will have sonar technology that can actually tell you if it's a bass or not. <laughs> now that would be something. But I may switch to something here in a moment. I'm going to throw the deeper back out here and kind of recheck these fish and see where they are. And if they're close to the bottom again, then I'm going to throw something a little heavier, drag it on the bottom, see if we can get them. Let's put the old deeper back out here and see what's going on. See where my little buddies are at. This thing's cool. It, t it tells you the water temperature, obviously, along with the depth. This is just this fantastic. So cool. See, there's another little couple more fish right there, right in front of me. Suspended. Look at that. School of them. <laughs> that is just so cool. move closer to the actual point because you figure this is the this is a big feeding spot right here we got the main the main river out there but it flows into one of these little side rivers 
and then it flows into these little coves like this. So this is a major highway for bass, any kind of fish. So let's get this out here a little bit. Jeez. The noise on that thing when it hits the water is just like a freaking cannonball. Look at that, guys. Holy moly. Even if only a couple of those are bass. I mean, that's a lot of fish out there. Suspended in that deep water. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Tell me this boat isn't coming up in here. And I think it is. Well, that's awesome. Now that the giant barge is gone, I moved one point over from there. Let's see if I can catch a darn fish. And we still got some fish out there in that deeper water. Let me turn over here so you guys can see. There's probably a glare. So we got a ton of fish out there still. Suspended. Got some deep. So I'm liking what I'm seeing here. They're certainly out there. Little chatterbait with a big, fat, juicy, juicy trailer on it. I like the black and blue color in this kind of dirty water, and it should be able to cast a whole lot further. Yep, <laughs> so now I can maybe get, you know, my bait a little bit closer to where those deep fish are. Looks like there's some vegetation or something right off the bottom. That's interesting. So, of course, there's some fish hanging out right there on top of it. Ah. Oh, got him. <laughs> Finally got one of those little suckers out there. Ooh, look at him. Trying to eat that big old chatterbait. Choked it. <laughs> Look at him. He's cool. He tried to eat this big old bait. He thinks he's cool. All right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Nice little healthy bass. Wasn't a big one by any, any stretch of the imagination. But he was nice. We'll take him. Let's get him back out there. That's how you use the deeper sonar, my friends. When you're a bank fisherman and you've got no idea of knowing how deep, how shallow the water is out there, if there's cover, if there's vegetation, I mean, this is pretty sweet, man, I have to say. Pretty sweet to know the water depth exactly, to know the water temperature, and not being in a boat, you know? It's pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm all done. This was meant to be just a quick and fun little tutorial how you guys can use a deeper sonar. I had heard it deeper before. I never thought to try it, you know? For a bank fisherman, I can't think of a better weapon to have in your fishing arsenal. It was so cool to know the water temperature, the water depth. We could see the fish, guys. You saw the fish on the sonar. Such a cool tool, guys. If you wanna check this product out, guys, I'll drop a link below. I don't work for Deeper. I just thought it was a cool product. They asked me to review it, so I did. Guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Comment below, have you ever heard of Deeper? Have you ever used a Deeper sonar? Or have you, do you have any experience with it whatsoever? I didn't, I mean, this was a new one for me, but I just, it was so much fun, I almost forgot to fish because I was playing with it so much, I almost forgot to put it down and then throw something. Guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The channel's growing, guys. You guys are awesome. Follow me on Instagram. Like my page on Facebook. I love you guys. See you later.